All right, so here's the next presentation for uh, control system. Uh, right now we're using the Bruce Chubbs S-Mini card connected from uh, to a proprietary processor again. Uh, I mocked up a board also with six tortoise motors. So these are all being triggered from output one through six on the S-Mini board. And then I have an LED test card here, which is triggering the last 24 outputs uh, of the S-Mini card. Uh, and we're running this all on a software program with custom graphics. So here's an opening page of a custom graphics page. Uh, this indicates a block and for this particular job uh, they have the capability of running DC and or DCC in each individual block. So there will be 24 blocks on the layout. So when somebody enters track 1 on block 1 they can select DC1 and now track one is powered in block one for DC one simultaneously while somebody else is uh, DC three on track two in that block coming into the next block that person would then select DC one here and this person would select DC three again um, if somebody's in block two coming from the opposite direction and he wants to go DCC he can um, so these are all interlocking it will only allow you to feed power uh, to each individual track without uh, stomping on the other one. When you want to clear these lines and have no power to the track, there's a clear button for every individual uh, track and block there. I have a local switching area here, which kind of just shows an area uh, for switching. So if my train is here now, if I select my location of where the train is, there's a flashing indicator here that shows where you're coming from and these are the options that will allow you to go to. So my destination would be here and once I select there you'll see that these green LEDs all line up and the tortoise motors move to that direction. If I'm here, the flashing indicator comes in and I want to go up to here. Now you'll see that the LEDs run right through here. Or if I'm here and I want to go to here you'll see that all of the LEDs are now lined up to go into that selection. So based on this one page we have 16 different combinations of where the train is and where it can go. When you're ready to get these main lines back parallel with each other you can just clear the route and now it will take your green LEDs and straight away and green LEDs and straight away. There's also another option here called the runaround and if you press runaround this will allow you to be on this track come down into the lower track and then cross back over in case if there's a train in this location. Uh, in the simulation mode we're simulating um, signals that would be coming into the S-mini cards okay and as you see that on each one only one light at any given time can be high at a time. Now simultaneously while while these are running signals I can also have other signals flashing slow. So you'll see that there's one LED here blinking at a pretty slow rate here now. But in programming, I can go to the fast mode. Over here. You'll see that one flashing light and how slow it is right now. I can go over to the, fla the same flash speed. Uh, in programming, I change the flash speed. And now I'm running it at a flasher speed, a faster speed. Also on the touch panel here I have a typical crossing and now when we trigger the crossing you'll see that the two lights are ping-ponging as a typical crossing would be. And now if you look over here on the LEDs you'll see the two are ping-ponging and we have another one still flashing at a totally different rate simultaneously. Or I can reset that rate to zero and turn the flashing off. As we come back to the touch panel I also have a service mode. This allows a service person to go in with a password protected page, punch in the password, and this now allows a service person to go in and throw any independent output anytime they want. So if I need to just trigger a tortoise motor, I can trigger just a tortoise motor or a second tortoise motor. I also have an all off command here and the all off command will drive all of the outputs of the S minis off. There's an X page here for outputs 25 through 48. 
45, 46, 47, and 48 are programmed for pulse. So if I just press and hold, the LED will stay on. And as I release, one LED will go off on the board. Just like that. Likewise over here. And those are, I'm holding the button down. As I release, it'll release. Any of the other buttons, as I press them, they'll latch on. So even though maybe when you're running a typical layout that they don't necessarily latch, uh, in programming I have the service mode to latch them. So if you just want to latch all the outputs high and confirm uh, that they're sending out the signal accordingly for service mode, we can do that. Or if I hit an all off button right now, you'll see all the lights will go off except for one. And all the, all, all the lights went off except for one. Um, that output that the light is on is set for a not. That means that if something is on, the light, or if something is off, the light is on. So that's why that light is staying on. Uh, it's programmed that way. If I hit an all on, I can now trip all the lights on in about 330 milliseconds. So that's about it with the project right now. And uh, it's working solid. That's about it. Thanks.